to think that it's too difficult for them to do. I've found our constant inspiration from those goals that we've been working towards and whether it is uh, the sorts of examples I use to being able to train as a doctor, whether it's regional kids and families being able to get uh, cancer treatment closer to home, uh, whether it's the training opportunities in all sorts of areas that uh, we've now invested in across the country, whether it's dealing with uh, the ravages of natural disasters, which are all too frequent. These are all issues that, as Labor governments, we deal with each and every day. And I have to say I have one frustration that um, delivery is often reported on as a slogan when actually almost every day that I have been in Parliament in the last 15 years, I've seen the difference that delivery makes to people on the ground, and our government's been very focused on that. As I've said, Prime Minister, I think the mission that we have as a Labor government uh, is a very good one and a very strong one. And I never cease to be amazed uh, that we seem to have a Prime Minister made from titanium, <laughs> uh, really dream of. So in uh, resigning today, although it's personally a difficult decision, I am very confident that we are leaving the government, as Chris said, in extremely good hands and in a good position and with a great story and plan to tell to offer to the people at the next election. And I, for one, will still be uh, handing out busily on election day, uh, not only uh, campaigning up until that time, to make sure that the good that our government, under your leadership, can do uh, is understood by the public, and I am sure that in September it will be rewarded. Finally, let me thank um, Julia, of course, uh, Kevin, my Cabinet colleagues, my caucus colleagues, my wonderful staff, um, particularly Chris Picton, Narelle, uh, Angela and Humdi. Chris, I have to owe you a belated apology. Um, when I became the Shadow Health Minister, I rang Chris Evans and said, Look, I believe you've got someone that knows a little bit about health in your office. Could I borrow her for a couple of days? Um, five years later, um, when she finished with me, I said to Chris that I was happy for her to return to Chris's <laughs> service. Um, and it just goes to show, I think, that amongst the Labor staff, we have very capable, very talented people, many of them who've been with us for very long periods of time. Um, and like everyone else up here at the front, are determined to make sure that we can win the next election. I want to thank the people of Jellybrand for their confidence in me and their support and for their endless politeness at the supermarket. Um, always saying we're a bit surprised to see you here, but uh, <laughs> we're glad that Julia gives you time to do this. I would have been quite glad if she didn't give me time to do the supermarket <laughs> shopping, actually. Um, and can I also particularly thank the Labor Party uh, and my family, the incredibly steadfast Michael uh, and my amazing mum, not to mention my sister and others who've made this possible for me. Thank you. Uh, we've got more to do before we get to questions, so if you'll just excuse me for a moment. Uh, what I want to do now uh, is announce uh, who is going to fill these incredibly big shoes, and incredibly big shoes they are, as you've just heard. Uh, this does... Can I yes, do one of those? Thank sure. you. Uh, so, uh, it does, uh, is obviously an emotional day for us. It's <laughs> uh, a cold, I feel cold. I feel the need to join in. <laughs> uh, no. uh, but there are some incredibly big shoes to fill and it does give me an opportunity now to promote some fresh talent uh, with fresh ideas into the government's executive and I'm very pleased to do so. It means that we will be able to present to the Australian people a re rejuvenated team as we move into the parliamentary year in 2013. I've been able to select a number of my colleagues for promotion and I thank them for their preparedness to serve. So, first, Chris Bowen will replace uh, Senator Evans as Minister for Tertiary Education, Skills, Science and Research. He will also have responsibility for small business, acquitting my promise that small business would always be a Cabinet portfolio. This is a uh, promotion for Chris, a significant new challenge. As you've heard from the words I've said and Chris has said today, uh, this work is at the heart of Labor's agenda for our nation's future and there is nothing more important 
to Labor values and Labor ideals, then making sure that Australians get the best of opportunity for the future. And to do that, they've got to have the best of skills. So Chris Bowen will take that responsibility. Uh, Chris, as Minister for Immigration and Citizenship, has never shied away from what is hard work in the gov one of the government's most challenging portfolios, and uh, Senator Evans also knows what that is like. Uh, I know Chris Evans is going to bring his same drive and determination to this new challenge. Uh, Mark Dreyfus will replace Nicola Roxon as Attorney-General and Minister for Emergency Management. Mark Dreyfus is known to uh, everybody in this room, I believe. He came to Parliament as a senior barrister, indeed as a Queen's Counsel, and uh, will have the skills and attributes necessary to perform as Attorney-General and as Minister for Emergency Management. I have promoted Jason Clare. Uh, he will take the role of Cabinet Secretary, sit in Cabinet, and he will take with him his Home Affairs and Justice portfolio. As I've indicated uh, earlier this year, we've got a lot of work to do and Jason, the job of Minister for Immigration and Citizenship. Uh, Mark Butler has also been promoted, taking on new responsibilities. I have added the housing and homelessness portfolio to his current responsibilities. There are clear linkages with the work that he does in mental health and indeed in aged care and his general work in social inclusion. Mike Kelly is being promoted into the Ministry and enters the Ministry as the Minister for Defence Materiel. Uh, Mike Kelly is someone who served in the ADF and brings that wealth of experience with him, as well as a, a wide range of talents and abilities. I'm uh, promoting today a number of people into the Parliamentary Secretary ranks. Uh, Yvette Darth will take on uh, the role as Parliamentary Secretary for Climate Change and Energy Efficiency. Kelvin Thompson will take on the role of Trade. Melissa Park will take on the role of Mental Health, Homelessness and Social Housing. Three Parliamentary Secretary positions are available because Justine Elliott has approached me to relinquish her Parliamentary Secretary job. Uh, Justine is an incredibly fierce advocate for about community concerns relating to coal seam gas. She has grown increasingly uncomfortable uh, having the Parliamentary Secretary for Trade obligations, given uh, that's a job where we get out and spruik all of our export industries, including the coal seam gas industry. And so she wants to resolve that conundrum by relinquishing the Parliamentary Secretary role and focusing on her obligations as local member and particularly this local campaign. In terms of the Senate leadership, uh, that is uh, not for me to decide, that is for Labor caucus to decide. Uh, I respect that my caucus colleagues will come together on Monday and make a decision about the future Senate leadership. Uh, so that is for caucus and I won't engage in any speculation about that ballot. The decision will be made on Monday. Uh, the swearing in for the new ministers will also occur on um, some uh, uh, commitments next week, including uh, going to Antarctica, uh, not something that can be moved around, uh, given she's there for uh, some uh, commemorations related to uh, Mawson. Uh, so we will get on with the swearing in on Monday. So that's enough from me, apart from saying I'll... Uh, you know, I'll uh, miss my colleagues very much in the future, but I know that I will continue to see them uh, as human beings for a long, long time to come. Uh, yes, Phil. Uh, Oh. Well, I, I uh, don't, don't agree with that analysis at all. This is precisely the right time because Parliament will resume next week, uh, which gives my caucus colleagues an opportunity to deliver their judgment on who should be the next Senate leader in a timely way uh, so that we can get on with the job as Parliament comes together. Uh, I've always uh, had it in my mind that this was the appropriate time uh, to announce new arrangements as we move back into the parliamentary session. Look, uh, you know, colleagues come to me from time to time, uh, as uh, Nicola and Chris Evans did. I don't have uh, 
you know, before me at the moment, uh, anybody who is saying that they, uh, you know, want to leave at the next election, other than people who've already...